Hi guys, welcome back to the Lungs for Tiff, or Tiff Got Lungs, whatever we're gonna call it. Um, who knows? We'll just call it both. Um, so today I am back here and I'm going to let you know how to contour a moon face. I'm looking slim, right? Mm-hmm, girl. Got that contour going. I'm ready for you. So basically what happens when you get on certain medications, hashtag prednisone for me, um, you get prednisone cheeks on fleek, you get the moon face. Basically it's swelling of your face, your neck, it's your chin, it's swelling, swelling around and some people gain a lot of weight and you know it's it's not fun like it sucks but it's such an amazing drug and it's keeping you alive so you just gotta go with it and honestly it's temporary so I wanted to come on here because I had a lot of problems with the moon face and being self-conscious and not feeling like myself and I did not want to take pictures I didn't want to even like really see people because I did not feel like myself and I felt like that was that's an issue that's a big issue because that's not me that isn't me I'm miss talkative <laughs> I love to be around people I love to do makeup makeup's my favorite thing in the world so I think if I'm gonna help girls and guys whoever wants to learn how to contour for their moon face I might as well just do it here and help you all out so this is my goal and I really hope this helps you um so before transplant I looked like this <laughs> after transplant I look like this <laughs> and now I look like this so I did taper down on my prednisone and I was using contour like like crazy I would not go out of the house without Put in that contour on, put in some bronzer, you know. So, um, that's like my main, the main thing that I really pushed myself to do is just like, you know what, you are yourself, you are you, you may look a little different, but you're you. And no one can take that away from you. So, I just decided, let's contour, let's do it. So, I hope this helps you guys. So, here we go. Um, so... First of all, when you do your makeup, I already did my makeup, like you can see I got eyeshadow, all that. I just don't have the contour and the highlight and the blush going, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so first of all, when you do your makeup, you always want to hydrate first. So I always use, oh, here it is, <laughs> um, Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar, and I do, um, the SPF 30 because with transplant, well, you should always have sunscreen on just to protect your skin, but with transplant, you are more susceptible to getting skin cancer. So, SPF 30, good idea. So, um, and I actually put this on right before it's hydrate. My friend found this for me. Um, it's called Nip and Fab, and um, it's just a hydration. I put it on before I put on the Hope in a Jar. Okay, so now that we're all hydrated, um, we're going to do some contour. Moon face is not cute sometimes. Even though people say I'm cute, uh, I am so used to myself back in the day. So, let's uh, slim this down, shall we? Okay, so what I usually use is what a lot of people use, and it's called Hula. Hula bronzer from Benefit. Sorry if I'm shaky, it's medicine. Just don't mind me. Um, so it's Hula bronzer. It looks good on everybody for the most part. Like it's it's a nice color. So you can say it, tell I use it all the time. Uh, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Morphe E4. It's an angled brush. It's very nice. Um, I love this one. Um, it really gets it precise. Okay. Basically, with contouring, we want to make sure we're making it slim and we're not making it the opposite. 
So what you're gonna do is make sure that you go from the top of your ear, kind of slanting down towards the corner of your mouth. Um, darkest part up here, and then kind of fade, because you want the darkest part to be like slimming. So you don't wanna not be. So we wanna start up here and go down, and then we always wanna blend upward, because if you blend downward, you're not gonna get that slimming effect. So, I'm gonna get my E4 and I'm gonna put a little bit of that Ula on there. And I'm going to start up here. Okay, am I the only one that their hair grew? Like, I never had hair like right here. I never had hair there. And I never had a lot, more, a lot of hair right here. But of course, like after transplant with prednisone, hashtag the most side effect drug ever um I got I got hair and I don't know if that's just me but it may be so basically you're just gonna put that on and you can blend it upward and honestly you can do as much as you want <laughs> If you want a like really crazy contour, like under the sea, <laughs> um, you can do more. Like honestly, um, and I'll show you like how to really make it sharp as well. So we'll do that after we do the other side. Um, so basically, we do the same thing. On the other side. Okay. Get a little bit more. Blend it upward. Okay, and then if you are a person that has a big forehead and you want to, because I, I don't have a really big forehead and I have these new hair areas, I don't know. I don't, I honestly have no idea. Um, you can go in and contour up on the sides of your forehead because then it'll make it look a little slimmer. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take this. We can take this one, or we can take, where is it? Um, I, I literally, I just washed all my brushes and put them over here and I feel like I never can find anything. It's like crazy, like my makeup station right now is just, it's crazy, it's insane. Um, okay, we're just gonna use this one. We're just gonna use this guy again. Morphe E4, yeah! Dude, I love Morphe. So we're gonna do our chin because hashtag double chins. It made me get a double chin. Actually, like, I had like a triple or four chinner <laughs> before. Um, so we can create the illusion that there's like a, you know, we have a chiseled uh, chin. So. Where you can ch start at the bottom of here and just kind of glide it around. So then, and then always go up because, like I said, effect always up. So you start like right where your ear is and go down, just following the the shape of your face, and do it on the other side. Hashtag prednisone cheeks on fleek no more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that we did that, I'm gonna show you how to like create a really sharp contour, like sh make it look super sharp. So 
what we're gonna have to use is Laura Mercier powder. This stuff's gold, it's translucent powder. It's great. Um, you can get RCMA, I've never tried that. I heard it's really good too. Um, but literally any translucent powder will work. And we're gonna take the Morphe sponge. This one's cool. I just used it for under my eyes. I bake under my eyes. Baking is basically when you take a sponge like this, you get a damp, damp beauty blender, whatever. Um, this one's the Morphe one. And you um, get it wet. Then you put it in the translucent powder and put it under your eye. And it basically uses your body temperature to bake the makeup in and then you just wipe it away after. So what we're going to do is the same thing, except we're doing it with the Condor. So what we're going to do is take the edge, put some translucent powder on it, and then we're going to start from the bottom of it and just go, woo! You see that? We just go, woo! Just make a carve a line. Just carve in it and I just made it from the from down here down here. Basically from the bottom of the contour that you just did down. Like that. I don't even know if that was that one wasn't very straight, but don't mind me. Sometimes I'm not the most precise person. I mean I, who knows? I'm not that precise at some things. Um, yeah. So, basically we have a line. A line and a line. Right there. So you let that sit. And then while, usually when I let that sit, I go for the blush. This is the Morphe M527. I like this brush. I like it. I like it a lot. So I use this one for blush. And I'm going to use MAC Warm Soul. This one's a great everyday blush, to be honest. Like, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's just like a nice, nice color. It's like a tannish, I don't know how to explain it. It's Warm Soul. It's very warm. So I just take that and I just go, Boop, boop, over my apples of my cheeks and go back just like right a right above the contour and I do it on the other side as well just kind of warms the face up a lot it's very nice but then my favorite part of Highlight on fleek! Oh. So, um, highlights are my favorite. I, I like to sparkle. Sparkling's my thing. And, um, I really, like, love Desi and Katie. So, if you don't know there, Desi Perkins and Katie. Um, Luster Lux. Um, they did a collab with Dose of Colors. And this one's Fuego, I believe, yeah. Fuego. This is a highlight. It's very, um, very, uh, gold. It's very nice. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use the Morphe R36. This one kind of has a little bit from last time, but, um, R36. And I'm just going to put a highlight on there. On top of my cheekbones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then do it on the other side. Like, you know, the more you sparkle, the better. And then you can bond the tip of your nose. Then you need a cheek. Yeah. So once that's done, it's probably time to wipe away the. You just take whatever clean brush you have and just wipe it. I look a little slimmer, don't you think? From before. 
um yeah so basically that's how you contour a moon face um honestly i understand like the feeling of going through something and then having to be on a uh, to be on a med that you have to be on and it just like kind of screws with your body and it's depressing it's it makes you self-conscious but honestly you're beautiful and makeup does wonders i love makeup i think makeup is something that enhances your beauty it does not just cover up anything and just enhances what you have so um i really hope you guys enjoyed this and this really helped you so i'll see you in my next video and i hope you guys are having a great day and you're feeling great and don't forget to subscribe definitely Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below what you guys want to see next. If you want the full face makeup tutorial. Um, I'm thinking of doing, I think I'm going to do my next video, a Q&A. So please put your questions down there. Also, I'm going to do what to pack for a transplant. Um, what you're going to need. What I needed at least. And um, yeah. So I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And yeah, it's got long. Hey. <laughs>